Hey guys, it's Kelsey. I'm back with another scrapbooking process video and today is mad about mini paper pads. So I went through my Felicity Jane 6x6, which I always forget about, which is why I'm so glad we have this collaboration that kind of forces you to find your little 6x6 papers. Um, but I went through my Felicity Jane 6x6 and tried to pull out any papers I thought went with the current collection I'm using this month. Um, I feel like I did not do this the mini paper pad Collab, like collab justice because I feel like I didn't use enough six by six but I did add an extra challenge on myself for this one because of that and I'm only using scraps I have this blank piece of white paper that's just the cheap page protector filler paper I'm using as a template but it's going to completely be covered in scraps this entire layout is pieced together scraps that I've accumulated over the month so I'm trying to at least not use any 12 by 12 <laughs> um, on top of the little bit of six by six I do get used up for this collab. So I'm just pulling in different bits I've accumulated. I really wanted to stick to the same color scheme as my last page for the Safari because this is the um, companion page. So I want to stick with the same green, pink, and navy color scheme. So I'm just pulling in whatever scraps I had already of those colors. <laughs> I have these two 4x6 photos here of me and Bennett. I was not intending to post these, print these, show you guys because they're not great pictures of me. <laughs> it was just me and Bennett kind of having fun while we were waiting on, I think it was, we were in the car and we were, we were waiting um, for something and I decided I would distract him by taking funny pictures with him. So we were just making faces and taking pictures. But some of these, like he is just so cute. I was like, I, I have to record some of these, even though I look like a total goober. So here you go. <laughs> these are two of them. And I just stuck them together, matted them on some white. And you guys get to see these pictures. And I was not intending that. Um, out of all of the six by six paper I have to use, um, none of the colors really went with the colors that are in this kit. So I really had to resort to just the black and white papers. And you'll see me try to get multiple scraps used up. Um, even the six by six, I'm only using scraps. I don't even have a full six by six that I'm using to get on here. Um, but I really like the big polka dot, the, the black and white polka dot. Um, so I'm, I'm thinking I can at least use that. I don't really love the stripe. I think it's too distracting, especially when I already have the big black and white polka dot. But I'm kind of already thinking, okay, I'll have, you know, a cluster to the lower left here and maybe one to the upper right. Uh, I thought about getting this navy heart paper as my navy. And I thought about just keeping the top white, but it was way too distracting and you couldn't really see the black and white layer over the white. It was just looking weird. <laughs> but I remembered I had some of the solid navy from this collection, a scrap of it. So I decided to just take a couple strips of that to fill in the top and bottom. That way this entire page really is pieced together scraps. Um, but it really takes away the distracting white bands at the top and bottom. And then you can really actually see that black and white layer. Um, so I'm just going to take a moment to get <laughs> those pieced down. Um, yeah, I put myself in a little box on this one because I did want to like follow the same colors as the other page. So it kind of restricted what I would and wouldn't let myself do. But I really like the end result. It's not a super complicated page, but I'm really happy with like how many scraps I got used up and that I was able to follow my color scheme. So um, <laughs> now that I have that down, I will be gutting a chunk of that green from where my photos are. I don't know if I do that now or later. I want to make sure I, I know where those photos are going to be sitting before I gut the green. Uh, but now that I put that black and white pattern back, you can really actually see it. <laughs> and I think that looks nice. I think it also draws attention to the photos having that black and white scrap on the top and the bottom because it kind of makes it look like one long piece that draws your eye to the photos because they're laying right there. Um, in that quadrant <laughs> so I'm trying to be okay with the black and white I'm just trying to talk myself into it because I didn't use black and white on the last page um, there is a blue book tag like little frame that I was really trying to figure out how to use but the circular shape just throws me off I do not do well with circles um, but there is also this blue uh, kind of fringe banner die cut that I also hadn't used that this month yet, and this big blue ampersand that I really wanted to use. So I decided to not 
use the frame because it was just giving me a headache. And I decided to just layer a bunch of these blue and pink elements um, as my little, <laughs> little cluster over here. And I really like that. I'm gonna pop the ampersand up on some foam so it has little dimension. Uh, I will stick that onto that blue, that pink label and then onto the blue fringe. And I really like how those colors are kind of alternating and it's on the green paper. So I don't feel like I need to pull green <laughs> into the cluster, uh, but I like this better than the cluster I was originally working with. Um, so that's going to be the start of that little cluster. I definitely feel like I need more and I need that cluster to take up a lot more space than it currently is, but I think that's a good little base. And now I'm deciding I want to do my secondary cluster at the top there. So I'm shifting the photos down a little bit. I have a scrap piece of that light pink fringe um, that I want to use as well as this little L loving navy ticket. <laughs> so I'm just pairing a couple other pink and blue things for this other cluster. Um, and then I think I'm realizing I haven't glued down these black and white strips. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that because I am committing to the black and white even though there's no other black on this page. <laughs> um, it's okay. <laughs> it's all for getting six by six used up. So I'm happy I got some more of those scraps because I feel like that little six by six grab bag from Felicity Jane gets neglected a lot. I, I will pull out my Felicity Jane stuff and forget about it. Um, so I'm just happy I got some of it <laughs> used up on this page even though it wasn't a whole lot. Um, there's also this black and white speech bubble. I was having a really hard time figuring out how I wanted to use it, but I actually really like how it looks just as like a background element of this cluster. So I just decided to stick it behind the ampersand. And uh, something I normally do on Felicity Jane that I haven't done in a while is whenever I want to beef up a cluster, add some more layers, add some texture, I just grab a glassing bag and a doily. And I haven't done that in a while, and I think it's because it is such a go-to thing for me. I wanted to try to stop doing that for a little bit. Um, but it, this page needed something, and I just feel like it, it, adding that white, it helps pull in that black and white pattern a little bit more because there wasn't a whole lot of white otherwise. Um, and I think it kind of beefs up that area to fill out the space that I wanted. Um, and then it gives me some places for these pink and navy hearts to be added, which I think is a cute little touch that also pulls those colors in even more. Um, so I'm just going to get all of that stuck down. <laughs> I really like right exactly where it's laying right now. So I'm really trying to glue this stuff down without shifting anything. Um, so I think I think I succeeded. I just got to get these hearts down. Um, I do want to use that navy foam alphabet for my title on this one as well, since I used it on the first page. Um, and so I think I just end up titling it funny or something like that. Um, Bennett is seriously, he's like the smartest, most hilarious little kid I've ever met in my life. <laughs> um, <laughs> so I love when we get to hang out because he's just so much fun. Um, so I, I think my title has something to do with fun or funny. Uh, but I am going to go ahead and gut this green because now I know where my clusters are and where my photos need to sit. So I'm going to go ahead and salvage this green piece for another layout and get the rest of this actually glued down <laughs> kind of stresses me out a little bit when I have too many moving parts so once I kind of know for sure where stuff is going I want to make sure I get it secure so there's that and then I'll go ahead and get the photos and the clusters back down um, I'm trying to remember what I do after that I think I go for the title I'm not completely sure <laughs> just made this page yesterday I really should remember like <laughs> what what I did when but um, got that down I love how how much space that cluster takes up now with those extra things I do want to get more of these word stickers used up too I really want to use more of the navy but I really just end up going with one pink one that says afternoon because this was in the afternoon to layer on top of that pink piece up there by the ticket and I'm just glad I at least got one word sticker used up. I mean, I got like five used up on the last page, five or six. So I'm okay at least just getting one used up here. So I'm going to get the second cluster down. I'm going to ruffle up the fringe a little bit just so you can really kind of see that texture. And then I think I go in with the title. <laughs> Can't remember. I'm going through everything one more time just to see if there's anything else I want to pull in. Um, but I kind of feel like everything else will either add an extra color or will distract from the pieces I already have that I like. So I'm going to go in with the title. Um, yeah, I just title it funny. I really like that. Sometimes I like that alphas have uppercase and lowercase. 
Um, sometimes I don't, but it worked out well for um, the past two pages having uh, both. So I can actually do like an uppercase title. I just call it funny. <laughs> He's so cute. Um, one thing I also did on the last page I wanted to tie into this one was to include the white brads that come in this collection. So I'm just taking a couple more. I'm going to have one up there by the small cluster and two down here by the larger cluster. Um, I really like adding that little detail because that will really help this tie into the previous page. Um, and then the big thing I did on the last page that <laughs> kind of finished and made that page special to me anyways was the hand stitching details and I did not want to do anything complicated on this page because the giraffe I hand stitched on the last one was a whole ordeal um, but I did think I wanted some stitching detail to tie this in with that last one and because I have this doily and all this white on the left side of the page I just decided to do a simple row of stitches up the right side of the page just to pull some white over there a little texture over there but I really like how that looks with the first page I think it just ties it all together just with that little detail <laughs> so I think I'm staring at it right now trying to talk myself out of doing that because I my hand still hurts from hand stitching the first one um, but I realize it's really the detail that it needs and I will appreciate it after the fact, which I always do. I always love when I hand stitch, even if I don't like it during the process. So um, just using a piece of foam um, to pier as my piercing pad and my ruler, I think I pierced these at a quarter inch apart. I really like doing the, the bigger stitches um, because I think I used to do them at like half a centimeter apart and it was just a lot of stitches. So the, the longer your stitches, the, the shorter time it takes to do it. Um, so I feel like that's a happy medium, that size. So I'm not gonna make you watch all of this. I'll skip to when it's all, all done. Um, but I like how this one turns out. I think it looks so cute with the, the companion page that I uh, shared on Tuesday. But thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you check out everyone else playing along with Mad About Mini Paper Pads. I hope I didn't let you guys down with just using the small bits of six by six paper. Um, but here are my close-ups. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.